to the best of our knowledge. We've got everything straightened up. We don't have the blade in yet. So here's the fun part. We're going to put the blade back in. I've talked to, I don't know, a million people. Got them to take blades off real easy. Putting on a blade's the hardest part. But it's OK. Take your blades, hold them up for me. And you're going to hold them about this far apart with your thumb and four fingers. Because you want support. This far apart, with that much space in between your two fingers, nothing can happen to this blade. I mean, somebody could almost karate chop it. It's not going to break. This is, this is so you don't damage your blade when you put it in. You hold it like this. Hopefully, everybody can see me here. I'll, I'll lift it and try to do it again. You want to take this thing, just put it against the saw, or the red grommets at an angle like this. Can you see that? Let me kind of tilt it down. And you want to take your both hands, and you want to roll it in between the red grommets and stop. It rolls down and straight down. OK, are we all in between our red grommets? Excellent. Now you can see it's kind of leaning against that yellow grommet. Keep rolling it down, but angle it in. It's going to roll itself right into those yellow grommets. It's going to feel like it doesn't want to go for just a second, and it pops right in. Don't be afraid to break the blade, because we're giving you a really good deal on the saw. And if it's got a broken blade, you can afford a new one. So don't worry about it. Because you're definitely going to buy it if you break it. Did you get it under the yellow one? You got it. OK, great. OK, let's, let's go to our next step. Remember I had you guys rotate this thing downward, and I had you pull it off? You're going to do the exact opposite. You're going to roll this thing downward, and you're going to guide it on with your other hand. Just roll, roll, roll. It's going to get to a point where it's like, whoa, I don't know if this is going to go on. Keep going. You're not going to bend it. Now, it's going to get caught on this yellow grommet up on. You're rolling it in a downward, downward motion, just like it runs on the saw. Counterclockwise. That, that's probably clockwise I'm doing right now. OK. It's going to kind of get caught on that yellow, but just roll it into the yellow. It'll pop in. I promised. See, I did it. Who didn't do it? Did anybody have any trouble yet? Did you get it? Everybody got it? OK, we got the blade back on. We need to put this little yellow guy back in. Everybody grab your yellow guy in one hand, your screw in another. And I want to see how many people lost their screws. <laughs> Just the marbles, no screws. I've got my screw. I've got my grommet. Screw, grommet. OK, she's, we're going to, here we go. Time up. Go ahead and, what was that? <laughs> here, no, 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 in the microphone. Go Take ahead. the screw out. Take the screw out. OK, you want to put the yellow grommet into the saw without the screw. Now, if you take a look and you put this thing in there, like I've done right here, and I'll do this again, you kind of slide it into position. Now, a lot of people get in trouble here because they try to just shove it in. You can't do that. You've got to put it in at an angle so that it slides under the, the blade and then snaps in. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to draw this. It, you won't know what it is, but I'll try. OK, we've got the blade here. We're trying to put this yellow grommet in. You can't just shove it in there, so you've got to put it in at an angle. So you want to come in. Wow, what am I doing here? Let's just, build, let's just do a happy face, OK? OK. Angle. You want to put that in? Did you get that? Because you want to put that in an angle. OK. You want to put it in an angle. You don't want to just shove it in there. I think everybody's got that. Am I correct? OK, now you're going to put the screw in. Nine times out of 10, this is going to be real easy. You put the screw into the hole, and you tighten it down. But now. You're not lined up with that hole. So if you try to screw it in now, it's either going to spin and not do anything, or it's going to grow and crook it. Because you're not lined up. There's interference there for a reason. It's got to hold that blade. If they're spaced far apart so you can do this easy, wouldn't hold the blade, they wouldn't need to be here. So you put the screwdriver in. And I'm holding this thing way out here. I'm exaggerating, but I have it at an angle, right? Push. So you feel it fall in. You push it. It hits the hole. While you're pushing, walk it over. It's like a lever now. Well, this is a terrible screwdriver. Walk it over and it's straight. Now you start tightening it in. If it starts to squeak, if it's really hard to do, you don't have it in right, don't keep going because it's going to be the last time you put it in. It's going to get stuck. OK, how many people did that before I even started talking about it? Yeah. 
I'm the teacher, you know. At least give me that. Thank you, sir. Uh, see, that's what I like. And that's from the trouble table over there, too. You know. It was very sarcastic. Thank you very much. Okay. We are still not sure that we align the saw, are we? We don't, we don't know for sure. We checked it with our straight edge, but we don't know for sure if it's straight. Um, but we have to put all these parts in there. If we don't put all those parts in there, nothing holds it. We've got to guess. We don't want to do that. We want to do this once. And we want to use the saw. We want our customer to use the saw. So now that we've got both grommets in, this thing's held. It's not going anywhere. Let's check that alignment. Let's make sure this thing's straight up and down. Mine isn't. Eye level. Check to make sure the blade is straight up and down. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to see this. You just want it to be relatively straight. You don't want to see any lean. If you look at it and you say, well, I think there's a half a degree there, Sean. I don't know. You know, that's good enough. It's not going to hurt anything. How do we look? Do we look pretty good? We look good. OK, we've just aligned our saw. This is, this is one of the biggest problems um, that a saw will have. You'll have all kinds of things go wrong with the saw, and it'll be because of this one problem. You take a look at it, you think, oh, this grommet went bad. It's got to be because you know the nuclear reaction in the motor is off by a decibel or whatever. It's not. It's just misalignment. Let's, let's talk about problems that have happened because of that. If it's leaning to the left, meaning it's leaning that way, you're probably going to wear out this red grommet really quickly. So you're going to have a new grommet on the right, a really screwed up grommet on the left. Check that alignment. If it's, if it's bent the other way, same thing. You're going to have the right-hand grommet tore up, the left-hand grommet virtually nowhere. And that's because all that pressure is out of one grommet. The other one just fancy free, no big deal. You're also going to probably wear out your raceway if it's bad enough. If it's not too bad, it probably won't touch it. And it probably won't ruin the red grommets either. But if it's enough, what will happen is first it will eat up that red grommet, then it will allow itself to shift over. So your blade, instead of running true back on the, um, you can't see this. Let's draw it next to the happy face. Instead of, here's your raceways these two here, and this is where your blade runs through. Instead of your blade being happy and running through and not touching the raceways, if everybody can see that, I'm sorry if you can see that, you're going to have this occurring. You're going to have your raceways here and your blade running on top of one of those raceways. Um, I bet a lot of you or everyone in here has seen a chewed up raceway or have had a friend or a customer that's had a chewed up raceway, one or the other. This is, this is the main reason why. Because this saw is misaligned, you got your you got your blade running up on the raceway. I'm trying to get you guys as knowledgeable as I am at the saw and be able to do a lot of your own repairs. Um, to kind of segue, it's great to be able to do your own repairs. It's great to be able to have that edge to have a customer come in and say, "No problem, I'll fix it," or have somebody else's customer come in and say, "Hey, so and so couldn't do it, can you do it?" Sure, it's only ten bucks, or you know, it's only thirty dollars for my time. I'll I'll put your new blade on there. They'll be happy to pay it. But you'll be able to do that, and they won't have to ship it to me. And I don't have to send it back. And I can slack off, because I really don't like working eight hours. Do you have a question? All these blades say they're refurbished. Why do most of them come back? Why do most of them come back? You know what's really funny? Um, close to 100% of the saws are fixable. Um, most of them, actually, let's say 100% are fixable. Because if we have something that's broken on the saw, it's replaceable. It all screws in. Um, what that is, is part of our customer service, actually a part of the customer service I'm pretty proud of. And that's making the customer happy. Somebody calls up and they say, hey, man, I, I pulled my saw out. The thing lasts a half hour. The motor exploded. You know, it won't run. Don't worry about it. We'll send you another saw. We know we can put another motor on it. The blade broke after an hour. I don't want this saw. I don't feel comfortable with it. That's fine. We'll send you another saw. We know we can put another blade on there for whatever reason. It goes back through the line. It gets actually, it'll get hand assembled. It'll get taken down. It'll be hand assembled by me or another technician. And, um, and we'll sell it as refurb. It's, it's dirty. We're not going to try to put it out there as a new saw because that's just not right. And um, it's still a good saw. So people get to uh, get a, a good saw at a discounted price. A lot of the refurbs go to a lot of the schools. I don't know how many people are affiliated with any of the schools. If you haven't taken part in this, if you have a school um, that you work with, um, we'd be glad to have you um, send in a request. And we might be able to get you a saw or some parts or something like that, depending on the situation, what we have the availability. It took me a while to get these saws for this class. I've been preparing for it for a while. Are you going to go over the different saw blades that you carry in their units? Um, I'm going to try. I want to get as much of the maintenance out of the way before we get into the fun stuff. Um, I know this isn't that fun, but I'm so entertaining. It should be pretty cool. 